Hey guys, Cody with American Garage Door Supply. Today we're gonna walk through rebuilding an air-powered opener. Specifically, we have our Superlift 2 in front of us. That's what we're gonna show you how to rebuild. Maybe you've noticed your door's not running as fast as it used to, or it won't even pick up the door all the way. We have a solution for that. Sometimes these things need to be rebuilt. Dirt gets in there, uh, water, debris, anything that can rip those seals and it's gonna cause air to leak past. So I'm gonna show you guys what to look for and how to fix the issue that you're having. There's two separate issues that will happen. Either one, you're gonna get air leaks out of this top seal. Normally what we'll do is we'll spray a bottle of soapy water and spray it around there. If you have constant air pressure in here, you'll see air bubbles coming out of here if this seal is bad. And then on the other end, there's air lines that come out of the bottom of the cylinder if you have air leaking through those when you're not operating your door, that means you're gonna to need to rebuild the piston inside. To get started on this rebuild, we're just gonna go ahead and grab our 11 16 wrench, and we're gonna take these two aluminum collars off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is a new unit, so not too bad here. Maybe a little more difficult out in the field. Just gonna pull these two off here. And we're gonna have to take these nuts off too so that bushing can slide past that. All right, now that we have that collar off, uh, there's two separate things that can happen. If you only need to replace your bushing and you're in a hurry, you know, you can just do the bushing. We recommend rebuilding the whole thing while you're in there, but sometimes you just don't have the time for it. It doesn't allow it. Maybe you'll get to it later. First things first, if you wanna take this bushing out and that's where your air is leaking from, you'll just grab a one inch wrench Bushing has a couple slots on it for that. A little difficult on the workbench, but we'll get it. So at this point, if you have a new bushing, you can put that bushing in, slide it over here, throw it back together. If that's all that was leaking, you know, you should be good to go. Put your clamps back on, reset your limits. And that would be it for that top seal. To get to the pistons, we're gonna have to dig in a little further. So we'll take this back off. And actually we're gonna need to take a half inch wrench and take these plates off here so we can get this top cap off. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now that I have this top plate disconnected, I'm just gonna pull it off here and set it off to the side for now. So for these four Allen bolts, you're gonna end up using a 5 16 Allen wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Now that I have these four bolts out, this top cap should come right off here. If you have the bushing on still, I'd hold your hand up here so you can just slide this off just like that. And now we have that top cap off. So at this point, you'll be able to pull the rod out and you'll be able to see the piston and the seals that are inside there. That's what we're gonna need to replace here. So let's pull those out. Now that we have this pulled out, you can see this one seal wants to come out. It just kind of sits in there. It's friction fit when you put it in the tube. So you can see here, you have two U-cups on the outside. That is to stop the air from passing through that bottom hole that we had talked about earlier. If these are cracked, ripped, or anything like that, you're gonna get air through there and it's not gonna hold the pressure up here like it should. So to replace these, it's pretty straightforward. Comes in a kit here, you can see that one seal that expands just kinda of laying in there. And then you'll have your two U-cups. So the most important thing with these U-cups is to make sure you have this end here pointed out on both sides of the piston. So bottom side, it's gonna point this way with that cup facing out. And then on the opposite, the cup is gonna face up. So you always want it like that so it's catching and trapping the air and it's not getting past there. All right, so now we're gonna pull this seal out here. I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and just kind of wedge it in that U-cup a little bit. Hold it up with my finger for a second. That way you can get it to fold over the piston like this. And we're just gonna peel it right off just like that. So to reinstall it, you know, kind of same concept, put one end in your slot, make sure the U-cup is facing the correct direction, and we're just gonna work it around, get it to go back in. It gets to a point where it's a little tight, and it just flops right in there. So now we've replaced the U-cup on that one. Now that I have my new U-cups on, I'm gonna just replace this seal here, 
I'm gonna take this tube and I'm just gonna set it on the floor. It makes it a little bit easier to hang on to. I don't have enough hands here. I'm just gonna start slowly pushing this back in. You do have to be careful to make sure you see that U-cup catches the, the end a little bit or the cap here. So we have to make sure that that goes in there properly. Put this little seal on here. And that's it. I have it back in there. The hard part is done. So from here, there's actually two little seals here in the top and bottom cap. We're gonna wanna replace both of those. If you look a little closer here, you can see this one's actually ripped. So we're gonna take that one off, throw that out. We got a new one in this kit here. We're gonna put that one in. And at this time, we can start sliding this top cap back on. Make sure your air hole is lined up in the right spot. So I'm just gonna thread these in a little bit. I'm not gonna tighten any of them down right away. I'm just gonna get it threaded in, started, get everything kind of set in place, and then I'll go ahead and tighten all those down. Now that I have all four of these uh, rods back in here, we're gonna just look at this top cap, make sure the cylinder is lining up nicely with that, make sure we're in the right spot, our seal hasn't fallen out or anything like that. We're good on that one. That bottom one looks like we're good, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these down now. I'll go diagonal from this one to that one, and probably this one to that one to try and keep even pressure and we don't want to go too tight with these we don't want them loose but we don't want them overly tight either they were never overly tight from the factory they're just snug now that those are all snug back up I'm gonna start working on putting this top plate back on getting it ready to put back up on the door all right so grab my top plate here let's make sure that this angle here is at the same angle as that one down there so we're just gonna slide it on here. We'll start putting those half inch bolts back in. And I'm gonna tighten these up in the same pattern we used on the rods before. So we'll just do diagonal on each cylinder separately. Again, we don't want these super tight, but we don't want them loose either. We just want them snug. Now that we have this top plate back on, we can go ahead and put our chain clamps back on. We're gonna wanna put the nuts on first. Gonna go ahead and snug those up with our 11 16 again. So at this point, you're ready to reinstall this on your door, get air hooked up to it, and you should be good to go. If you have any questions on this video or rebuilding other air powered openers, please feel free to give us a call at 1 800 233 1487 and let our experience go to work for you.